And he says, ow! <laughs> video I'm really really excited because I went shopping and what about that it's not exciting actually I was at Target yesterday and I Instagrammed my cart because I was feeling really I just spit on the camera again I was feeling really crappy about myself because I spent two and a half hours in Target and I kid you not I went into that store for four things and I spent two and a half hours in there so I Instagrammed it out and the overwhelming response was asking for a haul which made me feel way better because I was like see it's for a video like there's a purpose I'm just gonna start actually I'll just start with Target and jump <clears throat> into the other things after I clear my throat so let's do it the first thing I got was this Aussie moist shampoo now um, this is one of the things that kept me in Target for a really long time because I need a new shampoo and I get really really torn when it comes to shampoos because there's that side of me that wants to go natural because of stuff that I've heard and then there's a side of me that goes okay well my hair kind of responds okay to a lot of stuff and I don't wash my hair very often so does it matter if there's sulfates in it like I, I don't know I go back and forth and then I know like sulfates can strip the color but I really love the smell of this shampoo and yeah so I picked that up okay so the next Aussie product that I picked up it looks like they're kind of following in the steps of Tresemme um, it is the Aussie heat protecting shine spray right here and they have that same little like Kia the same little nozzle that the Tresemme heat spray has um, it still doesn't quite spray the same as the Trust My Heat Spray does. It, it took forever to figure out how to get the little wiggly thing out so that I could spray it or whatever. But I love Aussie, so I thought I would give it a try. It was cheap, and all their stuff smells good. It doesn't smell like their traditional Aussie smell, that kind of grapey smell, but it smells really, really good, and yeah, I'm excited to try that out. Let's do uh, makeup next. I picked up another Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm because I love my other one so much. And this is in Healthy Blush. I'm excited to try this, so I'll have to let you know how I like it. Um, and the next thing, and I'm not throwing it on the ground, I'm putting it on my chair over here, just so you know. The next thing I'm so excited to try because this color, I almost opened it and wore it today, but um, this color is beautiful. I don't know if, if the camera is going to show it. It is like a flamingo pink with a hint of coral, but there's no shimmer, which is really, really exciting because I've tried some Sonia Kashuk blushes before and they have shimmer, which I'm, I'm not opposed to shimmer, but it's almost like the shimmer like dilutes the color. So the color is not as pigmented and I end up never using them. But I saw this and I was like, there's no shimmer and this color is amazing. So I'm really, really excited to try this and I'll have to keep you guys posted on how I like it. Oh, and the color is called Beautifying Blush. Oh no, that's what it is. It's called Flushed. Number 51. So the next, oh yeah, I have one more lip product. Um, the next lip product I got, I know a lot of people have raved about this, so I decided to give it a try and it is the Revlon Lip Gloss in Pink Pop because I really want to find a good, um, I don't know, like it took me a really long time, speaking of which, to find a good red for my skin. Not just one that like, okay, whatever, it's okay, but one that really made me pop. And I think that this red is it, which I'll, um, I can't remember the name, but I'll like put it down below in the info box, but I know it's by Wet n Wild and it's 99 cents. So I'm now on a mission to find the same thing with a pink. I want to find a pink that really makes my skin pop um, or makes me pop. And so I wanted to try this lip gloss. So that was kind of over explanation, but yeah. Okay, so the next few things are kind of random things I picked up at Target, but I just wanted to let you know. I picked up a six pack of Luna Bars, Nets Over Chocolate. I love these things. I always have Luna Bars around my house or in my purse. I like these. And there's six in here for like $5.60, which is actually cheaper than getting them on their own because they're 99 cents on their own. And in the box, they're like, what does it make that? I don't know, 70 cents, 80 cents? Ow! <laughs> Next thing. Okay. Then I just picked up um, some more, what am I doing? Some more emery boards. I needed more of these. Also, I picked up some toothbrushes. This was really exciting because they're just the Target brand toothbrushes, um, and they're two. And usually when companies make like cheaper versions of toothbrush, toothbrushes, they always make them soft. And I don't like soft toothbrushes, but these ones are the medium ones, and they were like $1.69 for two. So the purple one will be mine, and the green one will be Dan's. Yay! Then I got Nasty McNasty, a Heat Feet Foot Care Implements Foot Smoother. I just needed something. Um, I don't really have a preference for a foot smoother so I just kind of grabbed the cheapest first one I saw. 
through that one and miss the chair. Okay, moving on to nail polishes. So, for those of you that don't know, Target is actually now carrying OPI. Um, obviously not the whole current line or whatever. The first one, I picked up yet another bottle of Linkin Park After Dark. This is the only, literally, I'm not being dramatic, the only nail polish color that I keep going back to buy more because I either use it all the way till it's empty or it ends up drying out before I can finish it. And this color is so classic. It's my favorite, like, go-to color. If I don't know what to paint my nails, I always paint my nails this. And I love Linkin Park After targets. I love it. So um, the next color I picked up is Coney Island Cotton Candy, which is kind of a peachy um, neutral color. So it's like a neutral, like a nude, but it's a peach, but it's not really a peach. It's kind of in the middle. It's pretty sheer from what I've seen online. I haven't actually tried this yet because I got it yesterday. Um, the next color is not really a color that's like me, but I pictured it kind of against my skin and my hair, and for some reason I just think it's going to be really pretty. And this is Fiercely Fiona, and it's kind of a chartreuse green yellow color. I know I just made a face like I'm disgusted, but I'm not. I'm actually really excited to use it. So yeah, that's what I picked up from OPI. And then I also picked up um, Pixie, which is at Target. Uh, they have nail polish now, and they had a few colors that looked really, really cute. But I picked up this kind of blue-based electric kind of pink um, in the color Paradise Pink, and I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now, as well as I did like two random nails, uh, Revlon Lily. It's the perfect pink for me. I love it. I think that is it from Target. So on to the next shopping trip that I took. I actually went last week with my sister to the Wild Fox sample sale down in downtown LA. Okay, so the items came in a little baggie, um, which the woman was kind enough actually. My sister didn't buy anything, but my sister was like, oh, I want that bag. And I was like, well, I like this bag. And the lady was like, well, here, I'll give you another one. So it came in this little like tote like this. So that's the Wild Fox little um, logo. And then on the back is this kind of like cool ribbed thingy. I don't know. I don't like buying shirts that even if they're really, really cute, like, sayings, if they don't apply to me, I don't really like buying them. So they had a ton, a ton. For those of you that do, like, just fun sayings on your shirts, I mean, they have a ton of cute little sayings. It's just, like, when it says, like, I left my heart in the Hamptons and I've never been to the Hamptons, I feel weird wearing it. But if you don't, they have fun little cute, like, um, cheeky sayings. Is that the word? Like, all over their shirts. So the ones that I got, the first one is so me. And they're both uh, baggy beach jumpers, they're called. And this one is in cream, and it's just got cheetah spots all over the front. How cute is that? Seriously. I think I kind of, I accidentally lightened up the spots a little because I washed it, and I put it in with my whites, and I had it turned inside out, and I put a little bleach in. Oops. But I still like it. They're not, like, it's kind of a worn out look anyways. The whole, like, all of the baggy beach jumpers are. Um, the ones that I'm seeing, they're kind of a little, like, distressed looking, the fabric. So, literally, I've never, ever tried anything softer on in my entire life. My recommendation is to, even if you want them baggy, don't buy them a size up to be baggy. I didn't know this, but um, my friend Kat, she told me after I bought them, she was like, they're going to stretch a lot, just so you know. So, you might have wanted to go down a size. Next one I got, because I really like baggy fitting tops, is a large, and it's definitely stretching out. I still will wear it, and I love it, but it's definitely stretching out, and it's right here. And look at how cute the coloring is on these flowers. And this one is a large. So yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I wore them back to back right when I got them. I was really, really excited. And the cool thing about the sample sale is those beach jumpers run typically anywhere from like $100 to $130, which is really, really expensive, but it feels like torture because I'm like, ah, I want these. They're so comfortable and they're so cute, but I don't want to spend that much freaking money on a top. So the cool thing about the sample sale is everything there is like 50 to 70% off. The cheetah one was $130 now at Bloomingdale's and I paid 50 for that at the sample sale and nothing was wrong with it. Um, it's just obviously they're transitioning into another season. So I really, really like them and yeah. Okay, so that is it. I was actually going to show you I got some bathing suit bottoms, but I'm actually going to wait because I think I'm, I'm really going to be buying new bathing suits um, for the summer because I haven't bought new bathing suits in literally like three years, like full on bathing suits. So I think I'm going to go buy a couple more bathing suits and then I'm going to do like a bathing suit summer haul type thing. So I'm actually not going to show you those.
I'm going to New York next week, and I will be letting you guys know which day I am going to IMATS, um, because I'm not sure. I have to talk to the girls. I don't know if we're going both days or if we're going one day, so I will be letting you guys know, and if you want to see my whole trip out there, um, you can go subscribe to my vlog channel if you feel like it, because I'm going to be vlogging the entire trip, and I am just really, really excited. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you next time, and yeah, bye guys. Also, I picked up groceries and house decorations that day, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to start seeing that stuff in the future, and I will include those in hauls. If you're like me, you're addicted to your computer, or reading, or being on, I don't know, it's just, it's really like cute to light a candle, this sounds so late, but to light a candle and have a really cute mug of like tea or coffee and then be on your little computer.